It's cold. It's cold and I'm trying to warm up in the car. Okay, I wanted to make this video before I never make this video and then I get mad. Um, LG Envy. I said that I would do a review on it in comparison to <clears throat> the last phone that I had, which was the Samsung SCH 740, which actually is the alias, but I didn't know that until after I returned it. It's like got a cool name too. Anyway, so I returned the alias. I got the LG Envy. A um, couple things I really liked about it. I wrote them down so I won't forget. Oh, okay. I got I have a case on it, but I got the silver Envy. It also comes in green and orange. Only difference between the silver versus the colored Envies is this button right here. It's an orange button, and on the silver Envy, it reads email. On the colored Envies, it reads Envy, E-N-V. On the silver Envy, uh, when you hit it, it accesses wireless email. If you're set up, uh, wireless email, obviously. If you're set up for it, you get the internet when you press that button. You get your email. Great. If you're not, the button does nothing. It actually just freezes your phone, which sucks. Um, a friend of mine got the green NV, and her button reads ENV. When you press that button, it does whatever you want. You have to program it. It's a shortcut key, which is really cool. I wish I had that, and I didn't know until after I got the phone. No big. Um, on the keypad here, there's a button right there with an arrow on it. When you're typing and everything, you tend to think that's a backspace key. It's not. It's an enter key. So as you're typing, you're just used to the backspace key having an arrow on it from the keyboard. You're also used to it being a, in about that area. Well, it's not. If you hit that as backspace, you're going to have lines between your text and everything's going to be spelled wrong, like I had at first. So the backspace button is actually just this clear button over here on the corner. So uh, that kind of sucks. It's really annoying. <laughs> your soft keys are not at the bottom. They're at the top. So it's kind of annoying when you're texting and you have to keep reaching up here. Like this. Like this. Okay. Uh, your space bar buttons. There's two and they're on the sides on the bottom here. I would have preferred if there was like one longer key in the center. But they're not. They're two here. You get used to it. No big deal. But... I just, if I was designing a phone, I would have done that differently. The camera is awesome. It's the best camera I've seen yet on a phone. Um, trying to open it. Let's see. Here, I took that picture. I don't know if you could see it. It's really good. The video is pretty good, too. Um, could be better, but it's the best I've seen on a phone, obviously. There's a lot more symbols on the keys themselves, and you've got a nice little symbol button to get any of the symbols. I like that a lot. I use symbols a lot when I'm typing messages. On the, pa on the other phone, I had to keep going into the symbol category to grab them, so I like the fact that they're much more user-friendly here. When you're scrolling through your inbox, kind of like this, when you hit to the right, it should take you to your sent box. And then you can scroll through that as well. On the alias, you can't. On the alias, you can scroll down through your inbox, and the left and right keys don't work. If you know what this is, if you access this feature, you'll know what I'm talking about. One of the things that I really liked and I found was a pretty big difference, because, I, like I said, I use symbols a lot. On the alias, if you're to hit the symbol key, you can hit multiple buttons, and only symbols will show up. Okay, kind of annoying. If you want to put an apostrophe after N and don't, you'd be D-O-N, symbol button, apostrophe, symbol button T, because you have to turn the symbols on and off. Now, with this, symbol works as a one-time key. You hit it once, and you're allowed to hit one key and get that symbol for it. Oh, I'm so tired. It's morning. Does this make sense? All right, so you'd be like D-O-N, symbol button, apostrophe T. You wouldn't have to hit symbol twice. Turn symbol on, turn symbol off, like you would the alias. Okay! Um, anyway, here, I'll just show you the phone. Um, I got this case on eBay. It's pretty cute. It's kind of hard to get off, but whatever. That's what he said. Oh, just kidding. Anyway, I like it a lot. Um, I do like the fact that the camera's protected. You swivel it to open it up. Swivel it to close it up. That's pretty cool. Um, it's a crappy day out, as you can see, and I'm heading into work. I think I need some tea because <laughs> it, like, took an enormous amount of effort to go through that. And I even had it written down. But then again, I don't know what... I don't know what I really wrote. Camera plus sign. Camera.
camera's good. Space on side, negative, not good. Woo. Anyway, guess what I've got for later. Can you guess? Easter's coming up. It's a piece of candy. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. <gasps> it's a Cadbury cream egg. I want one. All right. These things are good. It takes forever to eat them. That's why I like them. Because you feel full after one. Sometimes. Anyway, I saw a movie last night. Can you guess what it is? It's like number one at the box office. Horton, here's a who? Horton, here's what? Horton, here's a who? Dr. Seuss's Horton, here's a who? It was really good. I cried twice. <laughs> but then again, I'm an emotional wreck right now. So, lame. Lame. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. I need to grow.